What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to uh, Binge with Jim. Um, as you can see, we're continuing the Ted Lasso series. Um, just another heads up, if you guys want to watch the full reaction to this, uh, it's on my Patreon. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, then episode four is already on my Patreon. But yeah, uh, this episode is called Trent Krim the Independent. So I guess like uh, Rebecca's going to have Trent Krim follow Ted around for, today, for a day uh, to do an expose. And then I guess Ted and Roy are about to like connect, I guess, in a sense, because they're going to. This is the venture out into the community, which I kind of, if you kind of peep it, I kind of like how they're doing it so far. Like they're kind of like getting us to each character that probably seems going to be important. So like first episode obviously was Ted. You got a little, uh, a little bit of Rebecca, you know what I mean. But then the second episode was Sam. Where they like introduced us to Sam and like got us like in to like like Sam, and now it seems like it's Roy. So is, is this how they're gonna do? It? I really like how they're doing that. That's pretty dope. But I'm not sure if that's gonna continue. <laughs> we'll see. But um, last episode, uh, they lost to a team that they already beat. So the whole uh, crowd is still calling him. You know what? Um, not just the crowd, the fans. I guess and Rebecca's loving it. I thought Rebecca was about to change. Like she seemed like you know what I mean. Ted was like. She was softening up on that a little bit, but then she saw her son on TV, and you know what I mean. But okay, I feel like eventually it's it's gonna it's gonna be a thing where like they're they're real close. I think it's gonna happen. Um, I got a feeling Jamie's also he's gonna eventually become like a great team player. I got a feeling. I don't know. It just it just seemed like it seems too easy just to make him seem like like always gonna be a bad person, but. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this episode. I'm talking too much. Uh, before we get into this video, though, hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications on, check out my merch, links down in the description below. Social media channels are also down there. Give me a follow if you guys want. Since the Just Quest DMs are always open, let's do this. She's about to have stuff. Oh, because it's going to be in the papers. Oh, it's not in there. Call shithead. Is his name really? But I had an absolute peach of a Sunday. There you go. I have a branding meeting. Oh, I always feel so bad for the cows, but you got to do it, otherwise they get lost. This <laughs> dude. <laughs> that was a branding joke. If we were in Kansas right now, I'd just be sitting here waiting for you to finish laughing. I think it stinks. <laughs> Time did you get home last night? Didn't. <laughs> we're not on the prowl. So I am officially on the prowl for any new ideas. You hear? Oh. I have a real tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves. So I'm asking you real quick again. <laughs> do you think this idea will work? I like that. Yeah, I do. Whoa! Why are you screaming <laughs> at us, Nate? So you use Jamie as a decoy? Uh, in, yeah, in this case. <laughs> yes. I like them three together. That's my fault. I forgot to pitch out this way. Come on, let's go strut this way. Here we go. Um, have you got a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. What does she this know? Be the front page of the Sun today. She does. Manager Shag, star player's girlfriend. Ted, this is really bad. My friend who works at the paper said he can hold this story for one day. I am cute as a button and I can run my ass off. <laughs> like her. Sorry, it took me so long to get up the stairs. I was stopped to talk <laughs> by about 100 people. She didn't even notice. Ted! Keely, hello. Oh, they're coming to her for help. Now I'm gonna find the piece of shit that took this and who hired them. No, no. The owner of the paper, I can get this stopped with a phone call. Huh? This woman right here is strong, confident, and powerful. Boss, I tell you, I'd hate to see you and Michelle Obama arm wrestle, but I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it either. <laughs> not a compliment. Use an alias or a burner phone. I'm not a spy, Rebecca. <laughs> and equally proficient at both. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. I just don't know. There's so many new feelings, right? Uh, yeah. Kind of like getting your first pub, right? Here we go. <laughs> All right, hey. You quicker transitions from offense to defense. Y'all gotta start making your hellos, goodbyes. You understand? Who loses to me has to run four more. Let's go. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't hear what he said. I'm catching him. <laughs> I thought you ran track in high school or something. Chess team coach. Mm -hmm. Illinois State champs, baby. Okay. There's some gifts up in y'all's lockers. Your little cubbies up there, so hope you enjoy them. What do you get them? Oh, he got them books. A wrinkle in time. He threw his away. Just thought you should know that your boy Nathan's been harassed every single day. So you'll take care of it. No. 
I learned two pretty big lessons on the rough and tumble playgrounds of Brookridge Elementary School. Offers you a candy bar, you immediately say no, and you get the hell out of there. It's just pooped inside of a Butterfinger wrapper. Ew. The teacher tells a bully not to pick on someone, it's just gonna make it worse. That is true, though. First domino needs to fall, right inside that man's heart. Oh, he got a plan, I see. Next week, babe, and he can't do anything about it. This dude, he is not smiling. Yeah, all right, I'll take care of it. Nate's a good lad. And will you be there? Of course, bro. Then fuck no. <laughs> Colin, eyes up. Come here. <laughs> no, you two are always messing with Nate. Keep it up. Makes me laugh. Will you be there? Fuck <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I, I spoke to entrance? the owner of the sun. You spoke to Guy? <laughs> no, the newspaper. Oh. And he has agreed to not run the photo, the independent, to do a profile on you. One on one with Coach Lasso. Oh, I just oh, realized that well, because he don't really like tough. Ted. You know what you do with tough cookies, don't you? Dip them in milk. Oh, let's run that he always got like a saying or something. Metaphor or whatever. Hey, there he is. It's gonna be fun. Please, call me Ted. Oh, wonderful, Coach. I felt that one in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds about right. That's good. Yeah, hey, no. you <laughs> gotta sell that rum right. too hard. Oh, ball, ball, give me the ball. I want the ball. Give me the ball. I would like the ball, please. Um, agree to disagree. I found it hilarious. <laughs> I've always funnier than Step Brothers. But then I just saw that. And now I'm gonna have to rethink my order of what I think is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm sounding like Roy. Someone's been walking the dog here. Found another foo. What exactly does Nate the Great do? You mean to tell me you're entrusting a Premier League team's attack to the kit man? Hey. He's seen the dynamic. Didn't your last girlfriend like steal your Rolex and sell it for drug money? So? I need a phone and a watch. <laughs> My name is Ted Lasso, and I'm from Kansas. <laughs> Kelly, if you would listen to me, <laughs> listen, I could tell you why. That was too mad. easy. Mad all the time. <sighs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> well, Trent, I've never really concerned myself too much with wins and losses. Now, that's a quote I'll probably use. Made me think of you. It's uh, strong and a bit prickly. <laughs> <laughs> the thought was poking around in our love life. You know all about that, don't you? Remember when you got divorced? <laughs> it rings a bell. Oh, come on. You wouldn't have said something if you weren't dying to show someone. Kiwi seems to get her away a lot. Holy shit, Rebecca. Are those your real tits? I feel like a teenage boy. I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> Where did you get those? <laughs> my mum blew my brains out with those beautiful breasts of yours. <laughs> they can become friends. I can see it. This dude is not feeling tired at all. I didn't think that Richmond Primary would win a single game, much less the league championship. Wow, that was kind of a diss. The new manager of AFC Richmond, Ed Lasso. Captain of your AFC Richmond squad, Roy Kent. It's really cool you do this. I'm doing my fucking knees, guys. Here. How are you, head is Uncle Roy? Yeah, well, I come in. Ed, next. <laughs> Dude. Hey, nice catch. We might have ourselves a goal. Oh, oh, oh boy. I knew he was going to like it. Whoa. Oh, boy. Sorry about the blood there. The story of a young girl's struggle with the burden of leadership. Am I supposed to be the little girl? <laughs> i like you to be. <laughs> Congrats. You both just met a cool person. <laughs> Whatever the chef recommends. Have him make it for us like we're a couple members of the family. <laughs> You're a brave man. Oh, no, no, no. That's going to be spicy as heck. I got a feeling. I've never had any. Uh -oh. Oh. I mean, that's hot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel like I'm about to breathe fire. No, 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 come on now. We gotta put a decent dent in this. Oh, I will embarrass Holly in front of his family. Me? I love coaching. For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It's about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. Let me ask you this. Is my tongue still in my mouth? Because I am <laughs> about to hallucinate from all the heat here. I really enjoyed getting to spend this time with you, Trent. You actually mean that, don't you? He really does. <laughs> what do Is you he reading that to Phoebe? That it has to be me. It can't be anyone else. Fuck! He just realized it. It's a bad word, Yes. I have an advanced copy of the article. Whatever you think of Ted Lasso as a football coach, I assure you, the truth is harder to swallow. Sing the music. Make your friends everywhere you go. If the Lasso way is wrong, it's hard to imagine being right. I didn't know it was a retirement party. <laughs> I believe that Ted Lasso will fail here and Richmond will suffer the embarrassment of relegation. Won't gloat when it happens. Because I can't help but root for him. Fuck! Mm. 
Another another foul play on Rebecca. Do me a favor. Don't use me as a prop in your little fights. Make me feel like an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. Thanks. No one was bidding on you anyway, mate. Just fuck off. Go on. Uh, okay, I see what's happening here. So uh, that's episode three. So Ted won over another person. <laughs> like it's insane how he just keep winning these people over. Like I feel like eventually the whole town is it's just gonna love this dude. Um, yeah. So Trent, Trent, I wasn't so sure about Trent Grimm because like the first couple episodes, like it seemed like he was all for Ted. But then, like, right then and there, he's at, he won't root for Ted DeVille. Like, that's pretty dope. Um, so another plan of Rebecca's failed. I just got a feeling like that's going to be, like, a trend. She's going to keep trying these schemes, and they're going to just, eventually she's going to give up and, like, just cave to, do I want to say Ted's charm? I guess we could say Ted's charm. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, Roy finally, like, seems like he's going to be a leader. I actually like Roy now, which is weird. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure about him. I, I couldn't read him in the last couple episodes. But, like, I, I see it now. Like, he's really going to be the vocal of that of that uh, locker room, I got a feeling. Um, what else? Uh, I think he respects Ted a little more now, maybe. I know the town does. Community, like, uh, everyone was, like, stopping to talk to him. Except for those three dudes. Well, the one... The big black dude, he seemed like he was cool with the other two. <laughs> Don't really like him yet. I think they're going to eventually like him, though. Um, Yeah, this is a pretty good series, y'all. I see where, like, a lot of you guys are coming from in the comments now. Because, like, yeah, I keep on mentioning, like, how it just get, it gets better and better. And it does. Like, he has his great one-liners, perfect comebacks to everything, or answers, whatever you want to say. And then, like, there's, there's like, enough drama that, like, it's not really a drama and it's not really all the way a comedy either. What do you consider this? Is a dramedy a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for uh, episode four. Once again, um, if you guys see this, episode four is on my Patreon. Go check that out if you guys want to. The full reaction to this is also on there. Um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time. Peace.